Welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday, and that means it's time for a mail call. So what are we gonna do, Mac? Cars. Cars. What are we gonna do to cars? Open them. Open cars. All right. Up first, we got a package from Cheryl Armistead. This was an eBay purchase. What do we got, Mac? It's Car, which car is it? Oh, that's in a box. We love cars in boxes. All right. Let's open it. Let's open it. Yeah. Get through the tape out there. Man, that is some strong stuff. This is really well wrapped though. I, I do appreciate that. I think I know what this is. I think I can see it now. Put it in there. Yeah, it's in there. Through this tape as well. There we go. What kind of car is that? It's blue. Yeah, the box is blue. This is a taxi. So I've already done a box restoration no, on the taxi, and I was looking for a candidate for a car restoration. And this one seemed to fit the bill. This one's had a pretty rough life, um, but it's all there. It's all complete. The uh, the windshield is pretty scratched up. Tow hook is intact. The driver's in there. So we're going to see if we can do a car restoration on this one. And I bought this because this box looked beautiful. Um, the only issue it has is just this one little tear up here in the corner. And that is easily fixed. So I'm not even sure we'll do a video on this box since I've already done a box. Um, for the number 20, but for sure, this will be a future restoration for us. Oh, All right. Another one. Another one. No one. This one. Open it. Open it. What is it? It's a tractor. It's a tractor? That's another box, though. Maybe. We love cars and boxes. Oh, look at that one. So this looks like a really great box, other than the fact that we've got this masking tape all the way on the end here. I'm guessing that that is uh, because that end flap is torn. That's the hinge side of that flap. So it was probably torn off and it got taped and put back together. Um, but that is maybe. fixable. That's something that we can repair. It's maybe. What's in there? This one. It says this. Yeah. And that, that is actually a really nice copy of this. I've got three or four of these, and most of the ones that I have are pretty roached. Um, really scratched up, so nice. Not mint, but I'd say excellent condition um, for the loader and intact. So this will also be a future restoration because we can fix that box. Open this one. That one? Uh -huh. You want to do that one next? Let's do, let's wait on that one. Let's do this one next. What's in there? What's in there? What's the cord in there? What's the in there? Dry it. All right. We 
everything's in there. Can you see it? cream. So I have a couple of these um, and all the ones I have are rough. They're all uh, in need of a restoration but this one, the little dude still has the ice cream cone. Um, and none of the other ones that I have have that. This one also has most of the decals intact and none of the other ones that I have have that. So I'm not sure whether I'll keep this as is or whether we'll attempt a restoration on it. Um, it's got a lot of good things going for it that all my other models don't, um, but it is still pretty rough. So uh, I don't know. I might put that one in the case for a while and just enjoy it how it is and maybe someday down the road we'll restore it. For now, I'm gonna love it just how it is. This one. This one? <laughs> So this one came all the way from Canada. It's open. Yeah. So speaking of, where do I source my models? I get stuff from all over. Um, I like eBay, like everybody does. But lately it seems like prices on eBay have just gotten yes. crazy stupid. Um, stuff selling for 40 50 80 dollars for a, a little car in a box and I'm not sure what's driving the uh, inflated prices um, obviously they're finding somebody who's paying it um, maybe it's just an influx of new people to the hobby that don't know what appropriate pricing is but um, I've had a lot of luck lately on Facebook as well um, and using some of the face plate Facebook Marketplace um, or buying from other collectors on Facebook. And I think that's what this is. I think this was a model I found on Facebook Marketplace um, or maybe through one of the uh, Matchbox collector groups. And so I ordered it. I bought it. And this one is very very well wrapped. You see the size of that box all for just this one little little piece. So I definitely appreciate the wrap job on this. Looks like. What do you think's in there, Mac? Guys, your car. What is it? Oh. What do you think? It's a car. Do you like that one? Uh -huh. So when I found this piece, I absolutely fell in love with it. And I've talked a little bit in some of my previous videos about the difference between a restoration and a preservation. And this is a model that I'm going to do a preservation on. I'm not gonna take it apart. I'm not gonna strip it. Um, I'm not going to you know, repaint it or do the full deal. Um, all I'm gonna do is take some of the rust off the axles, clean it up. I might do a little touch up paint on some of the areas where it's really bad. Um, I'll touch up all of the uh, silver on the front and I'm gonna restore the decals that are missing on this. Um, but this is a beautiful Survivor piece. You can see we got part of one decal that's on there. I'm not really sure how all the others came off and there's just one little that's left. But um, this one, we're gonna to try to do a preservation on and just keep it in its current state, fix a few of the major problems on it and um, just help it last another 50 or 60 years. So. That's why I bought this piece. And then our last one. Oh, these are my favorite boxes. 
I've talked about this before, um, how much I love MK models. For any of you guys that are doing restorations, um, I've looked, there's, there's kind of three major sites. Uh, one of them is based in the US, one of them is based in Australia, um, and then there's this one based, I think he's in the Netherlands. Um, I know when I, when I pay, I always pay in euros when I order from these guys. And the price for the parts, um, significantly better with MK. Um, you know, individual decal sheets that some of these other toy restorers are charging eight or 10 or 12 bucks for, these guys have for $2. Um, you know, other parts, a set of wheels that's eight or nine or 10 bucks, um, I get from MK for, you know, a set of four for $5. Um, so just really, really good pricing. In fact, I think, let me pull out my price sheet here, just so I can, hey, right there. They are in the Netherlands, awesome. Let me pull out, let's see, pricing on most of these. Yeah, you see on the list here, the uh, the most expensive thing I ordered uh, was 10 euros. That was two of these um, boats and roof racks. So five bucks a piece on those. I have uh, about six of these cars and I only have one that has the original boat and roof rack. Um, so well worth it. Um, I've also got in here, got some scaffolding. Um, I just finished up, in fact, I think the video is already posted, the uh, restoration on one of these uh, scaffolding trucks. Um, and I didn't have the scaffolding, and so I do now. And that set of scaffolding was, let's see, let's look here. Hmm. Scaffolding, here we go. Six bucks for a set of scaffolding. Um, so really great pricing from these guys. And I gotta say, overall, I have been really, really pleased with the quality of everything that I've got from them. Um, these are all for some upcoming restorations that I have planned. So we're gonna do an ambulance in there. Uh, the Rent-A-Set uh, TV service van. Um, I think I actually touched on this in one of my previous unboxing videos. Um, I got one of those that is complete and just needed these restored, so we're gonna do that. Um, the uh, London to Glasgow decals for the little bus. Uh, just came across one of those. Not in bad shape. Again, I'll probably do a, a preservation, not a restoration on that one, but wanted to at least get the decals back on it. Uh, the uh, Maserati um, numbers. And I think I'm also, I think I also got a driver here in one of these packages. Um, at least I ordered a driver. Yeah, there he is, he's in this one. There's my little Maserati driver. Um, I've got several of those and uh, all of them have the same issue. They're all missing the drivers. So I figured, you know what, I'm gonna order one of these, see what the quality's like, and then decide if I wanna get a few more. Um, let's see what else I got in here. Oh, the plastic for the, uh, I think that's for a tipper truck. And then this is a big one that I've been waiting on. Um, I bought one of these uh, gas pumps uh, with the original box, but of course, like all of the models, it's missing the plastic. So this is gonna let me restore uh, all of those plastics. So pretty excited about those. Uh, let's see, what other decals do we got? Ah, uh, builder supply. Um, so this one I actually just got a model. I paid uh, $2 for this. Um, as you can see, it's not in great shape, but it is a silver plastic wheel model, um, and I knew I could do a restoration on this. So um, 
I ordered the builder decals so that I could finish restoration on that truck. Um, here's our first with the news. Hey, right here. This is what I ordered to do the uh, preservation on this one. So, happy to get that set in. Um, and ever ready, I've got a couple of these trucks. Uh, one's in okay shape and one is in really terrible shape. So I was planning a restoration on the one that's in not so good shape. So I got these in for that. All right, so this is the uh, number plate for a caravan. I've uh, got one of those mid restoration right now. So excited for that. Ah, my pointer truck. So I was lucky enough to get one of these. Um, had the original box, model was not in great shape. Um, and so we're gonna try to see what we can do. Um, I have several of these trucks, all in the different labels that they came with. And I've done restorations on some of the previous ones, just haven't gotten around to this one yet. So that will be in the queue somewhere. And then last but not least, I've got the logos for one of these uh, mobile canteens. Um, I went over this one, I think in an earlier unboxing video. If not, it's one that's still coming up. Um, and this one is rough, man. It's still got the, uh, the spider living on the inside there. Um, but we're gonna do a full restoration on this one. Uh, I haven't quite penciled out how I'm gonna restore the broken attachment, the broken hitch on the front. But we're gonna do a new one of these. And so I've got now the decals to be able to do that as well. So huge thanks to MK Models again. Guys, I'm not getting any promos, any kickbacks, anything from these guys. I've just been really, really happy with everything I've got from them. Uh, great service, fast shipping, and as you can see, the prices on the stuff I'm getting is significantly better than a lot of the other uh, part shops that are out there. So, cannot recommend them enough. And that's it for our mail call this week. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can keep up with all of our weekly videos and everything that we've got cooking.